I'm going to show you a very quick video now on how to actually do a really good deep double cleanse for the evening. The first cleansing balm you use is going to be your cheaper cleansing balm because all that does is just removes the makeup, removes the eye makeup and you're not actually really treating the skin with it. Your second cleansing balm that you use for the second cleanse is going to be the expensive one, the one, the most expensive one that you can afford because it's really going to help to nourish and treat the skin. So you're going to, oh, I'm going to tie my hair back or push my hair back so I've got makes like makeup on so you can see I've got eye makeup on I've been at work all day so this is the end of the day the cleansing the cheaper cleanser that I use every evening to begin with is the uh, Miramaya melting cleansing balm um, which I think is 1450 and I just don't want to click and collect on John Lewis at Waitrose and that's great it smells beautiful so you're going to onto dry hands and dry face put that much you can see that it's about 5p and you're just gonna mix it into the hands and apply to the face now cleansing balms get rid of absolutely everything they save you buying an eye makeup remover and you're gonna see in a minute this is all going to smudge my eye makeup and I'm gonna have panda eyes and you're gonna all see me with absolutely no makeup on in a minute which would be horrifying for you all so you're gonna cleanse into the skin like so, and this is sort of the quicker cleanse of the two. This one is just removing all the dirt, the grime, and the makeup. Now, you want to have a nice basin or running tap of warm water, and you want to have some flannels, big chunky flannels, or you can use um, baby muslins, the thin muslins you don't want, you want something nice and thick. I'm inundated with baby muslins, you can see it just dissolves everything. So I'm going to use that. So I've got a nice baby muslin. I'm going to soak it in some nice warm water. And there we go. And then place this over the face. Oh, and it feels lovely. And you're going to start to remove your makeup. So this really is the cleanser that you can get away with the cheaper one. Boots Botanics do a very nice one. I think it's about six ninety nine or five ninety nine, and you want a plant based oil one. So that's done. So the cleanser I'm going to use now, the expensive cleanser, is a Suti cleanser. I don't know if you can see that. Mm, there, there you go. Suti cleansing balm, which is my favourite. It smells absolutely beautiful. Um, but Emma Hardy do a very good one as well. There you go. So about that much. And you're going to work it into the skin. So the balm turns into an oil as you warm it and massage it. You could always use... Place on the skin. Oh, this one smells incredible. You could always use the Boots Botanic one as your cheap one and the Miramaya one as your more expensive. But this is the second cleanse. You're only going to use once a day because you're going to use your cheaper cleanser in the morning. Your second cleanse is the one you really want to put your money into and buy the best you can afford because it leaves a lovely film on the skin and you want to leave beautiful oils, you want to leave a lovely nourished soft skin behind. So you're working this into the skin and the more time you put into this the better. You want to get the circulation going and drain. So it's like a facial massage to start with but cleansing really is the starting point of good skin. Just working down and round, and it does seem like a hassle to begin with, but within about five to seven days, you'll feel such a difference in your skin that it is worth doing, and you will continue it. So, a cheaper cleansing balm for the morning, and your first evening cleanse, and then the most expensive one that you can afford for your evening cleanse. You can see it's removed all my. I wake up as well and just soak your cloth and the flannels and cloths are great because you can just put them in the wash every day because you want a clean one every day and place on the skin oh, so nice and remove the cleanser and then this is leaving the skin beautifully clean and ready and nourished for your next treatment which might be a toner and an oil or it might be an exfoliating toner and a serum and oil 
Well, you might want to go down the route of putting a mask on and then an oil. So you're as clean as you're going to be and you're good to go. And the skin feels beautiful. It feels soft and nourished. Oh, it really feels amazing. And it's definitely worth giving it a go.